Hello and welcome to Ramco TV. I'm Rick Helmer, the sales guy formerly known as the drives guy. Today we'll be taking a look at how different drives behave when stopping high inertia loads. This should be pretty interesting. Let's take a look. When stopping a load, the motor actually becomes a generator, putting power back into the VFD, causing the DC bus voltage to rise. If this voltage level gets too high, the VFD will fault out, releasing control of the motor and load, or at worst case, causing permanent catastrophic damage to the DC bus capacitors, again releasing control of the motor and load. There are a few options to combat this phenomenon. Adding braking resistors, using a regenerative drive, or using ABB's built-in overvoltage controller. All ABB drives have a robust overvoltage controller built in. This is ABB's least capable model, an ACS150. I have this drive set to decelerate this motor and pulley in 0.5 seconds. There's enough inertia in this pulley that the drive cannot do this without some outside help. So the overvoltage controller sees the DC bus level rise near its limit and extends the ramp time, bringing the motor to a controlled stop in 11 seconds. Again, we could add a braking resistor to this drive to quicken the deceleration, but this drive never faulted and never released control. Now let's pick on a competitor. I see these drives all the time out in the field, usually in a stack on a file cabinet as paperweights that'll let out their smoke. I set the decel time on this guy for 0.5 seconds and try to stop the motor. Drive immediately faults out, releases control, and the motor coasts to a stop. This takes nearly three minutes. Here's a newer version from the same manufacturer. This comes as a modular design, so when you let the smoke out, you have a smaller paperweight, which may be nice if you're trying to save room in your boneyard. If you have questions on this or any other applications, visit ramcoi.com or give us a call. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.